James in Brighton, United Kingdom writes, I just upgraded to a DAC that folks describe as having a tube-like sound. And you know what? I get it. It's smoother, more relaxed. But what got me thinking, what is it about a DAC, basically a bunch of chips and circuits that can make it sound like tubes? Is this about frequency response, distortion profile, or just the way analog output stages are voiced? Can a DAC truly deliver that tube magic? Absolutely. And you nailed it at the end here. It's the, well, it's a combination of a whole bunch of things, but primarily it's the way the signals are handled and most important, the output stage. If you take a standard DAC chip, ESS, Texas Instruments, analog devices, pick your poison, whatever you want. It's an off-the-shelf chip. And we took, let's just say we take that off, let's say, uh, let's choose ESS. So we take an ESS, it's one of the better DACs out there. And it, it's going to give you, you know, 130 dB, 120 dB signal-to-noise ratio and blah, 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 all kinds of good stuff. Well, if we take an identical set of boards. Let's say we have three sets of these. One, two, three. They all have identical outputs. And the only difference is the output stage. So one, we're going to hook up a NE5532, which is a off-the-shelf, nice-sounding op-amp. The next one, we're going to put in a fancy-schmancy, balanced, discrete, all JFET circuit for the output. And in the third one, I don't know, what are we going to do there? We're going to do a, a fancy schmancy. Instead of an NE5532, we're going to do a, a, one of these new analog devices that um, uh, just came out that are really spectacular sounding op amps. If you went into a listening room knowing that the input digital circuits are all identical and the outputs are all identical, you would hear three completely different DACs. The one with FETs, probably going to sound very tube-like. The one with the NE5532, pleasant and nice, but kind of covering up stuff. And the hot rod op amp from analog devices, it'll be fast and sharp and clear and lovely, but it'll be a little sterile. And those are the three flavors you're going to get, all based on using the identical input DAC, okay? Now let's add to that. In the PMG signature DAC and in its predecessor, DirectStream, we use an entirely different, there's no off-the-shelf stuff, right? There's, this is an entirely different technology that instead of using PCM, which is what the analog device, or the um, ESS is using, and the analog devices in the Texas Instruments too. Um, this is using DSD, pulse density modulation, as the actual output that goes into your preamplifier. Okay, That in itself fundamentally sounds different, better. And then what you hook up for an output stage makes it even more this way, that way, and flavored that. So. It's a combination of all of that, but mostly it's the way the outputs are handled. I hope that helps. Okay.